The college students demanding tuition refunds. Students at the University of Oregon and Oregon State filing proposed class action lawsuits saying they didn't get what they paid for during the pandemic when the school transitioned to online instruction. Kaylee Hartung joins us with more on this. Good morning, Kaylee. Hey, good morning, Robin. As COVID forced colleges to shut down last spring and classrooms turn virtual, it's hard to deny that plenty was lost in the experience. And now a group of students in Oregon are the latest to say that paying full tuition was a ripoff. This morning, students in Oregon are fighting to get their money back. The University of Oregon and Oregon State University now facing class action lawsuits. Students claiming they didn't get the education their money paid for while classes were moved online due to COVID-19. Now three students want some of their tuition and fees refunded. In court documents, the students argue they should not be paying for campus facilities and other in-person activities when they couldn't access them. The fact that the schools couldn't have foreseen it, it it's understandable, but it's really not a defense. I mean. They promised and collected money for an in-person education. They didn't deliver it. In a statement to ABC News, the University of Oregon saying they will vigorously defend this case. Despite what the lawsuit suggests, the university's costs for delivering instruction have not decreased as a result of the pandemic. In fact, our costs have increased due to a variety of new technology and infrastructure investments needed to provide quality instruction and to protect our campus community's health and safety. Oregon State University is also disputing the allegations. The spring semester of 2020 was significantly disrupted by the COVID pandemic, with more than 1,300 colleges and universities across the country canceling in-person classes or shifting to online-only instruction. The average cost of public-ranked colleges in the U.S. ranges from roughly ten dollars to $20,000. What my clients hope to recover is the difference between tuition that, that was promised and the value of the um, online experience. Now more than 200 similar lawsuits have been filed. As these cases progress and news gets out of courts allowing these cases to go forward, we continue to get inquiries from new schools. It's unclear how much money back these students are asking for. The University of Oregon, though, argues that they've already refunded students for a number of services and amenities that weren't available specifically because of health directives. TJ. All right, okay, we'll see how that one works out. Thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.